come in. You asked for me, ma'am? Yes, Frau Cohen. I need you to do something for me. Of course, ma'am. It needs to stay in this room. The room has been swept for bugs and other listening devices, nicht wahr? Naturally, ma'am. There is an automatic scan every 15 minutes, and there are sensors and cameras throughout the house as well as your own personal transmission scrambler. So yes ma'am there is a comb of silence in this room. And of course you can count on my discretion. Thank you. I'm not sure what I am asking for or how to ask but you have a career background in well? Let's say research. Okay. Well, I know you worked in the Mossad, the Israeli secret security agency and were in the Israeli army for a few years. It is no secret that I was in the army. Well you came highly recommended by my Austrian lawyer Herr Aschenbach and my Austrian detective Herr Moritz. They told me about your past. I am not sure what they told you and honestly I will not discuss it. Just know that I am more than capable and will be absolutely discreet. What do you need? Well, if this were politics I would say I need some opposition research on our business entity and all its associated entities. Official or otherwise. I need information on their financials both official and those that might be hidden in offshore LLCs or shell companies. I need to find out the chain of command, the organizational chart and the real organization chart. I need their client lists, their memberships and associates again official and unofficial. I need detailed resumes of the important persona in the organization. I am looking for weak spots, potential areas of conflict, criminality, or anything that could cause them discomfort if the information was to be released to the general public. I would like to know what is not on their social media profiles and pages. If they are hiding anything. What are their liabilities? I need information that might be harmful to them or to us. My team and I can do that. Give us what you have and I will set them on it. Of course I will give them information on a need-to-know basis. All of my team has undergone a thorough security screening and a superior in their skill set. This has to be off the books and I will need to set up an account that your team can draw from. I assume it will not be cheap. I will set aside whatever you need. Money, additional staffing and resources are not a problem. Tell me what you need and we will get it. Yes ma'am I understand. Is there anything else ma'am? No thank you Frau Cohen. I appreciate all you do for us here. Thank you Ms. Cohen for meeting me at such a late hour. I've just gotten back from a meeting with a new hire. I agreed to take on Mr. Sanjay Patel to work over to operations for us. I know you interviewed him and would like your assessment. He would not have had the chance to interview with you if I did not approve of him. He is the best in his field. He is a hacking legend. There is almost no system he cannot get into. I think it is better having him inside our tent pissing out than outside our tent pissing in. He is a hired gun. He won't come cheap but he delivers. Ms. Cohen, I have to ask you to keep this under wraps. It cannot be a part of Therry Beechin's Orchid organization. She runs a squeaky clean, transparent, empowered and positive company. She would not approve of me doing this behind her back, but believe me it is to protect her best interests even if it doesn't look that way. I think I can get whatever money I need to pay for this off the books. Mr. Jordan let me handle all the details. The less you are involved the less culpability you will have. Not that anything will go wrong, but the fewer people who know about this the better. I just don't want Theri to find out. She would be hurt. I could not stand to hurt her. Believe me this is all because she has been hurt in the past and I want to stop it in its tracks even if I have to do it behind her back. Don't worry. Discretion is my strong suit. Ms. Fyodorovna, and Mademoiselle Lechua, thank you for coming to the Holographic Center in Vienna for this call. Ms. Cohen, good morning. We, oui, 
Bonjour, Madame Cohen. What can we do for you today? Is this official orchid business? I did not get a memo. Neither did they. Did we miss a meeting? I have a delicate, covert project and I could use your assistance and contacts. This is not an official orchid project other than that I cannot go into too much detail. Although the holographic center has no bugs or listening devices I do not trust the airwaves. I understand. What can we do for you? I may need your help and contacts within the Russian secret police. I know you have a lot of ex-KGB contacts. I might be called upon to ask you to get some information from them about a certain entity. I know you are well connected to the Russian Mafia and oligarch classes. That might also prove helpful. Those are some very dangerous people. And they don't come cheap and they will expect the favor to be repaid at some unspecified point in the future. I would recommend not getting them involved if you don't have to. I know you can handle yourself. But these men are ruthless and immoral. I know, Katia. But if I need them I would like to know you'd help me make contact. Of course I would. We go back a long way, Rachel. I will always help a friend. What do you need from me? Mimi, I need similar informational contacts you have with the French secret police, Interpol, and maybe some of your less savory underworld drug lord connections, and sex trafficking contacts. Will you help? Oh mon dieu. Sacré bleu. Qu'est-ce que tu cherches c'est très très dangereux. Bien sûr, je vais vous aider de toutes les façons possibles. S'il vous plaît, soyez prudent, Rachel. Me say, Mimi, Spazipo, Katia, thank you both. I will be in contact. Remember this is a covert operation. Do not mention this to anyone in Orchid. So, Miss Tapertel. I hear you have met with Mr. Jordan and Mr. Winslow in a pub around the corner and they offered you a job. Yes, Mrs. Cohen. They did. And you accepted the job? Yes, I did. They made a very generous offer. Let me be the first to congratulate you. And the last. You are to tell no one. You do not discuss anything you have learned here today. Nothing you do will be acknowledged or sanctioned by Orchid. You have been hired as a very well compensated covert operations contractor. You are not an employee of Orchid. You will not work anywhere near Orchid HQ. You will not attempt to hack our systems. You will report to me, and me only. Do you understand? Yes ma'am, I understand. But? No but. Sanjay Patel. I know your skills, I know who you are. If you are as good as you say you are then you know who I am and what kind of holy hellfire and emanation I can bring to you and everyone and everything that you hold dear. If I ever, and I may never get a hint you may be anything but loyal I will pluck your eyes out of your head with my own fingernails and force you to eat them. Then I will slowly torture you to the point of you begging to die. Don't think I am not capable of it. Are we clear you missed a Patel? Yes. Oh my god. Yes. Yes ma'am. Mrs. Cohen. Excellent, Miss T. Patel. Welcome aboard. You may go now. To be continued.